Hey guys, it's Woodland Frenchies coming back to you with another really good informative video here again at Woodland Frenchies. Guys, uh, today's video is going to be talking about scammers and also just talking about feeling comfortable when purchasing a puppy. We're going to go a little bit into detail because we've had a little bit of um, some feedback from some people um, that we obviously are adopting puppies too and uh, have some concern. Just, you know, are we legit? Are we real? And, you know, when buying a French Bulldog, I mean, a lot of people know that there are scammers out there and I totally understand it and I appreciate that people are weary because I want, obviously don't want anybody to get hurt. Um, you know, this is supposed to be a special time when you do get a puppy and I don't, you know, it shouldn't be a negative experience at all for anybody. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that today, guys. We got three of our little French Bulldogs here as well. Yeah, good, good puppy. So first, you know what, if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel for more informative videos such as this one here. Sorry, we got some construction going off in the background. Um, that might be kind of make it a little harder for us to hear me, but um, hopefully you can. But yeah, let's let's go right into, guys, first, you know, if you are a little more weary, you know, even if you talk to us, so I guess, you know, we've had a couple customers talk to us and they're still not 100% sure and they're asking for FaceTimes and that's the right thing to do. Um, but I am wondering, you know, is what's, what is causing them to be really wary about us here at Will and & Frenchies? Um, and the reason for that is a couple of things. Is Number one is our YouTube channel that we have. So if you do, I mean, we are putting out content as much as possible to help inform you guys, to build trust, to, to share our love and passion for French Bulldogs and French Dens, such as these little guys here. And any person, any scam artist, con artist, they're not going to want to show their face they're not going to want to put themselves out there, first of all, and because then, I mean, then obviously they can get in trouble from that. So by us putting our face and our time out here like we do here at Woodland Frenchies, I can, you know, guarantee you that you have no worries, first of all, adopting from us. Now, if you, I, you know, if somebody, I haven't seen anybody out there do channels and, and as much content like we do and be fake. I haven't seen anybody, honestly, do that and, and, and be fake. So. If you have a YouTube channel like this, and whether you're adopting from us or somebody else, say they have a good channel, I mean, that should be a good good sign. You know, you're seeing the puppies and all that good stuff. So that was number one. Second off, with us, there is going to be, I, I know we're pretty big as far as, you know, reaching a lot of people. Uh, we have a really good following. So there's going to be a lot of people out there trying to scam our website, our Instagram account, um, just saying they're us, you know, when you talk to them. Like right now, I know there's a website out there called Woodland Woodland Puppies. That's not our website, but you know it has our puppies and stuff like that. And we can't, you know, we've called authorities and lawyers, and we still haven't been able to get that site down. So, you know, stuff like that, I can see how it, it can cause a little bit of rift um, or uncertainty um, if somebody sees that and so forth. So, yeah, that is one thing to look out. Make sure you are adopting from us. You're talking to Ronnie Covalent. Um, he takes the, the calls and breeds puppies, raises them. I help with the uh, social media, the socialization, um, our website, Instagram account. So Ronnie and I are a team and making sure to provide you guys with everything you need for your puppies. So um, be sure to talk to Ronnie first and foremost, not me. I don't take the sales call. I have people asking requests for FaceTimes, which is cool. That's totally fine. But Ronnie will be taking care of you guys. So. That's number two, and and number three um, is you know we do have previous videos talking about scams. So for the most part, everybody is doing a really good job with following the steps. So number three is you know how are you processing the, the payments? So for us, we ask for a five hundred dollar deposit. Uh, a lot of times, now they're getting smarter. Now they're just trying to take the the deposits now instead of trying to sell a thousand to two thousand dollar French bulldog. You want to go down and play? You can. There you go, buddy. You're just a sweetheart and want to cuddle right next to him. So now they are getting smarter um, with different things involving the scammers. I've heard recently um, something saying like, you know, I've heard different scams saying, hey, my, my father got sick. Now we're trying to find homes for all of our puppies. We're trying to sell them at a discount kind of price. So people are coming up with stories and different ways to like explain why the puppies are so cheap and just being super super creative so um, again 
no matter what the story, no matter when you talk to him, a good thing to check out is the social media. And one thing I haven't talked about or discussed in a video is Google reviews. That's a big part of finding a good, trustworthy uh, reader. So if you go to Woodland Frenchies, you know, you're gonna be able to see our address on our Google business page. You're gonna be able to see pictures, our phone number, links to our website. You know, people can't copy that. You're also gonna see some, I think we have like 35 or so, five-star reviews, all five-star reviews in our, um, on our Google page. Now, um, yeah, check that out. And, you know, always be sure if you do get some negative ones, be sure to read the negative ones. And sometimes, and I'm not talking about us, but for other breeders, sometimes you might have a negative review. Um, but as long as the breeder is trying to conversate through them and make sure they're taken care of, sometimes, you know, you just can't satisfy a customer. Again, we have all five stars, but I'm saying for other breeders, if they do have a negative review, you know, there's always, you know, ways that they, you know, to help them or, you know, don't just take it that from the negative review. Make sure they are reaching back out and, you know, trying to resolve the solution. Sometimes you can't uh, with some customers, but that's fine. So I just want to give you some helpful tips there, guys. Um, and again, just bring out some awareness. Again, there are people that copy us. There are, you know, and, and I, you know, there are people that are maybe a little un you know, wary about us because of those types of people. But I can give you 100% doubt if you put a deposit down on our puppy, pay for the final payment for your puppy, you are going to get your puppy from us. That is for sure. Right, guys? <laughs> we share, oh, oh. <laughs> we share as much content as we possibly can with our pups, play with them, and just try to make sure that they find the best homes possible. Right, right, little Neptune. So. Hope this, hopefully this video helped in some aspect, I'm not sure, um, but hopefully you did. If, if it did help you, definitely comment, let us know, and if there was more information you wanted, feel free to comment as well, guys, So, and we'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks, and have a great day.